<laughs> Hello and welcome, Dave and Joan Maroney here, your Mother of Mercy Messengers, and you've joined us for another Divine Mercy Prayer Meeting and Holy Hour of Adoration for our nations all over the world. And so good to see everybody here on Zoom. If you haven't been here before, I'll just give a brief, why are we doing this? Why are we having these holy why hours? Why are we doing this, Joni? Because it's what the Lord told St. Faustina. We are Mother of Mercy messengers and apostle for the Marian Fathers, and we help spread that message given to St. Faustina and the message of the church. But Jesus asked for her to come and make a holy hour for nine days in a row on behalf of her country. Jesus another time told her to receive Holy Communion for nine days another time to pray the chaplet for nine days, and another time to pray the litany of the saints for nine days. For all of those, for her country of Poland. Because of its sinfulness, because of its ingratitude. And he told her the chaplet of mercy appeases my just anger. So we meet here the first through the ninth every month. We've been doing this via Zoom since this we're on our fourth year. And in this hour, we will make the holy hour. We're going to pray the Holy Rosary, the Litany of the Saints, the chapel. We're going to do all those novenas and uh, trust that we're just following in the footsteps of St. Faustina and the directives given to us by our Lord. But before we do that, we have a, a guest speaker or we talk about a specific topic. And today we are happy to welcome our friends, longtime friends, uh, Jeannie and Kevin McMahon, whom we met many years ago at the cathedral in Corpus Christi. And um, we uh, got together and decided to participate in a cenacle. We were all uh, made familiar with by our pastor of the Marian movement of priests, Father Gobi's writings. And in these writings, Our Lady over and over will call people to join together in prayer in cenacles. That's what we do here, even though we're meeting virtually and with everyone that comes, we're joined together in prayer. It's a perfect time to talk about this because we are on the cusp of Pentecost. Thursday is the Feast of the Ascension. And then after that, when Jesus ascended, what did they do? They gathered together in prayer in response to what the Lord said, stay here and wait. And I just imagine the Blessed Mother, don't worry, boys, just come on, everybody. Let's be together. Let's just pray. And we're going to be patient. And after nine days of doing that, a mighty wind came through the door and they were all filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so we're going to be talking about uh, the cynical and a little bit about Father Gobi and his messages. And uh, so we're going to start with a prayer and um, then we'll dive deeper into the Marian movement of priests. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is <laughs> Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name, name of the, of the Father, Father, and the Son, Son and, the Holy, and the Holy Spirit. And if, would you like for me to begin on their website, the Married Movement of Priest website? It has a little bit about kind of how they got, they got the beginnings of it. Okay. And I'll put the website in, in the uh, description. It's mmp-usa.net. mmp-usa.net. And it starts out the history in a message to Father Stefani Gobi on August 29th, 1973. Our Lady told Father Gobi, quote, Whatever I communicate to you, my son, does not belong to you alone but it is for all my priest sons whom I love with predilection. And uh, so that these messages are, were mainly for the, the priests, for Our Lady's sons, the priest, but it is also a good thing for others to read these messages and, uh, and study them and get together and pray. So the, the cynical... Uh, the format of the cynical, which we were involved with, with our, our families, when our kids, you know, were, were young and in the house. And uh, you pray uh, the rosary, then you, you pick a reading from uh, the book. And the readings are like a page and a half or two pages, sometimes a little longer. And then you pray the rosary. 
So we gathered with... I think we prayed the rosary and then we read the message. Oh, that okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pray the rosary, read the message, and then discuss. And mm -hmm. people say what the message would uh, would mean to and then at the end we would make the consecration so today Jeannie and I were talking about it welcome Jeannie and Kevin um, and you guys are muted so you need to hit your unmute change the name got it got it hello everyone hello good to be with you all you know let me just say one thing and then I'm gonna turn it over to, to you Jeannie but um <clears throat> The uh, interesting thing about this is Father Gobi died in 2011. He was a very simple, humble man, a humble priest. You know, Our Lady always chooses the very humble. And he, he would say that himself, like St. Faustina, uneducated, Bernadette, on and on, Juan Diego. So the beautiful things that Our Lady was saying. And um, he underwent a lot of, of course, as Faustina did, or most mystics do, you know, a lot of persecution, misunderstandings, the evil one trying to railroad people, not believing him. Well, anyway, um, re recently we heard that, I think it was last summer, that they were going to investigate uh, his cause for moving forward with the, the beatification of, of Father Gobi. And... I didn't know this when I felt called. I've been wanting to talk about the MMP. We, I think we did one time before, but uh, I think Peter LePray was supposed to speak today and he wasn't feeling up to it. So a few days ago, I'm like, okay, we'll fill in and what should we talk about? Marian Movement of Priests. So then I was like, what was the status with Father Gobi? May 1st, they had the official celebration and mass for the opening of the cause. He is now servant of God, Stefano Gobi and they are beginning the process of his beatification. I didn't know that happened, and it was, this is too yeah. uncanny. So yeah. um, also Father Lewis, yesterday, Father Jason, when we mentioned to him and made the comment about the, the talking about the Father Gobi and the MMP, he sent me something that Daniel O'Connor, and we're gonna share a little bit more about that. He too, on May 1st, said, he just felt called to tell people more about the MMP, and he just found out that they had this this thing happening. So I really think heaven and the Holy Spirit is knocking on our doorstep and knocking on it to, to wake us all up to these messages. If you've been part of his cynical before, we know a lot of people have um, and got away from it, or there's still a lot of cynicals that do exist. But Jeannie, in this book, the father started in 1973, there would be a message every couple days usually, um, with the title, he traveled all over the world. I actually met Father Gobi. He yes, came, remember. Uh huh. Came to the, the cathedral. He came yeah. to the cathedral. Father Pavanka, Monsignor Pavanka, our pastor, had invited him, and so priests came, people came. I was the youth director at the time, and Father, our pastor, charged me and my youth with preparing the meal and serving the priests that night. Um, for the celebration and for the mass. And I actually, Father Gobi came up to me and Father introduced us and we shook hands with this guy who's going to be beatified now. <laughs> I'm sure he remembers as well. <laughs> yes. yes. Right. Uh, he was going, oh, that's Jody Maroney. No. He's short guy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, let me pick up on yeah. where David started with uh, the the... Uh, St. Frank, St. Francis, Maine has long been the head, the United States headquarters for obtaining the book. Uh, it's a lovely lady out there that's run it for over 30 years. Do you remember her name? Francis, what is her name? No. Uh, yeah, she, she lives at St. Francis, Maine, and she runs the book. This is to, to, to give witness to the to the movement itself and to Father Gobi, the, there's no charge for the book. It moves simply through calling St. Francis, Maine and ordering one or a box of 20 or a box of 50, and then you hand them out. If donation. someone wishes to give you a donation, you can take it. But And St. Francis, Maine would like to have, uh, last time I purchased, they, they would like to have $20 per book donation. These donations go toward uh, helping these priests move around. And uh, we have 
regional priest, and then you have the international uh, priest who would be leading this canonization effort. And I believe he's in um, he's in Europe somewhere. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know where he's from. But that's how the movement moves, is through the book, through donations. There's no money exchanged except through, through the donation process. Um, they have an international headquarters. They have this headquarters. But in the very beginning, Father Gobi was attending a pilgrimage to Fatima when Our Lady, according to his uh, written witness, Our Lady spoke to him interiorly and told him that she wanted him to be her secretary and to start forming priests together in cynical. So the book's real title is To My Beloved Priest. And so the cynical is first and foremost, priest gathered, and it's a closed cynical of priest only. Then the priest are to go out and form the, the laity and the cynical. And that's how we were so blessed at Corpus Christi Cathedral. Our uh, Monsignor bought the books uh, in boxes and started handing them out in the parking lot and gathering us in to prayer to read, to pray the rosary, and to uh, hear, hear Our Lady speak to us, and to make sure we were all consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which is one of the chief tenets of the MMP, is that we're all consecrated and have given our life and surrendered our life to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Any questions? So, uh, I Interesting thing happened to me. This was late 80s, early 90s, early 90s, maybe. And I was in adoration and ran across something that talked about St. Faustina and her writings, what it said that uh, from Poland would come the spark that would prepare the world for my final coming. If you're not familiar with that, and and I really freaked me out at that time. And I'm thinking from Poland, oh my gosh, we have this Polish Pope. You know, and what does this mean? And I thought, I final coming, what? So I thought, I need to ask Monsignor what he knows about this. And as I walked out of the Adoration Chapel, the door almost hit Monsignor in the face. He was right there. And it's kind of like the door went out to a parking lot. Monsignor was walking across, going over to the from the rectory to the church. And I was like, Monsignor, Monsignor, do you know anything about this and this prophecy from St. Faustina? And he goes... Yeah, he said, um, didn't I, didn't you get that book, um, the Marian Movement of Priest book? Because fa like Jeannie said, father had gotten them and he encouraged everyone to join it, pick up a book, you know, on the way out. And I did, and it was literally sitting on my nightstand and I had not opened it. And he said, go home and read that book and then we'll talk. And okay. So I ran home and every night I would read a couple pages, but how, what it, what it does, what Our Lady does is reveals and encapsulates the times that we're living in now, the rise of Satan, his ploys, the attack on the church, immorality, impurity, um, the corruption in the church, corruption uh, worldwide, always pointing to the evil stems from, Jean and Kevin, you know what it was, the big M, masonry. Oh, Lynn talks about oh, that too. The well, the infiltration. The infiltration. Uh, infiltrated. Of the, 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 right. And this was her handbook for the priests to follow her words, follow her teachings, consecrate themselves so that they would be protected. And she also mentions, to, you know, from the, the wickedness and the snares, and, and we've seen how the clergy have fallen like flies because they, they, they've fallen away, they've fallen into the traps. And then, uh, but it helps make clear to all of us what the heck is going on in the world. And, but it also fills us with great hope because she constantly is reaffirming the triumph that we are in a difficult battle but the triumph for her immaculate heart. So Jeannie, you had mentioned earlier that there were three main themes in the book. You wanna go ahead and cover those. And then we're gonna play what Daniel O'Connor says uh, about the second well, cost. Yeah. Uh, first of 
and foremost, she is forming uh, the priest into unity of her inside her heart. She wants them totally abandoned to her immaculate heart. She wants them together in fraternal love with one another. And at the same time, she's able to warn them of this storm that's about to hit the church. So this is 1972, and her last message is 1998. So at the end of the 98 message to Father Gobi, she says, I have told you all you need to know for what's coming. So the priest still silently, uh, um, the movement is still a silent undercurrent in the church. Many bishops, cardinals uh, follow the movement. The book has an imprimatur from two bishops. It's recognized uh, and protected by John Paul II. Uh, it's a solid movement of priests to, um, to gather together in a storm that she describes throughout, she describes most beautifully throughout the book. You almost can't uh, uh, break it down into any one message. They are, they're beautiful. And I encourage everyone who's listening to get the book to start from the very front and read forward into um, 98. <clears throat> It's a, it's a, especially now in these times, it was kind of hard to read it at the time when the things seemed too hard to bear. And yet we've gone through the priest scandal, uh, two new popes since John Paul II, and we can now have, we have her word to fall back on and to know that she knew what was coming. She wanted her priests and bishops to know what was coming. And I remember one of, one of the big things she would talk about the priests being like, like Jesus, the immolation of them. And as we've seen how good priests have been maligned, have been canceled, um, have been falsely accused of things, you know, this is what Our Lady was telling all of them. And they were going to go through these difficult trials. And, you know, so sometimes I know bad things would happen to a priest or whatever. And I go, it doesn't matter if they, okay, they've been stripped of their faculties. You know what? God is winning in this because of this sacrifice, great good is being done by just accepting God's holy and divine will. So it was for the priests, but then it expanded into the laities. We would meet with Monsignor, and then it was multiply, have these in your families. So we, right. we were, well, let's do this, you know? So yes. we met every three weeks, we would have dinner together. Um, no, first right. we would pray, get the prayer done, do the prayer, have discussion, have dinner, cut it off and, right. It was right. great. And there were, what, 13 kids in that group? Yes, we had the kids with us. They would all kneel and pray the rosary. It was so beautiful. And then we would all make their act of consecration. I, I want to conclude. I, I do want to play this little part because since we are here getting ready for Pentecost, um, like I said, Daniel Connor took some passages. He's a theologian out of the book and um, just put this out. So we're just going to play a little version because she talks about the priest being in fraternity, all of us being in unified, um, The I will call it her remnant, as she, she would say, her little ones. And um, making that consecration to Our Lady was huge. And then preparing also for the triumph and um, the great tribulations in the church. Right, Jeannie? Is there anything else I missed? Uh uh, yeah, the well, she uh, the uh, assembly here today should know too that there is a direct link to Fatima. Not only does she first speak to him at Fatima, she speaks to him on she sends him around the world, uh, and a lot of times it's on feasts of uh, the Fatima apparitions. She will reveal more to him. Uh, and speak to him on those dates, and she refers to her apparition at Fatima. So there is a, a, a little ribbon there of, of, of all through it of Fatima or apparitions. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to Daniel's because then uh, that'll just be it's about four minutes long, and then we'll go to prayer, and then we will come back after the holy hour for a few minutes of Q and A, and um, want to share also a little bit some of the fruits that we had of the Seneca personal <coughs> things, but also to hear from some of you. I know David's asking if he's allowed to speak. But we'll come back to that. All right. So.
Okay. Here we go. Est, the triumph of my immaculate heart will coincide with the great prodigy of the second Pentecost. A new fire will come down from heaven and will purify all humanity, which has again become pagan. It will be like a judgment in miniature, and each one will see himself in the light of the very truth of God. Thus sinners will come back to grace and holiness, the straying to the road of righteousness, those far away to the house of the Father, the sick to complete healing, the proud, the impure, the wicked collaborators with Satan will be defeated and condemned forever. Then my heart of a mother will have its triumph over all humanity, which will return to a new marriage of love and of life with its heavenly Father. I found myself gathered together with the apostles and disciples in the cenacle of Jerusalem. This is Our Lady speaking here. When the miracle of the descent of the Holy Spirit took place under the form of tongues of fire, and I saw with joy the miracle of their complete transformation. Timid and fearful as they had been, they came forth from the cenacle, courageous and intrepid witnesses of Jesus and of his gospel. In the spiritual cenacle of my immaculate heart, the miraculous event of the second Pentecost must now be accomplished, implored and expected by you. Again, there will descend upon the church and upon all humanity miraculous tongues of fire. Tongues of divine fire will bring heat and life to a humanity which has now become cold from egotism and hatred from violence and wars. Thus the parched earth will be opened to the breath of the Spirit of God, which will transform it into a new and wondrous garden, in which the Most Holy Trinity will make its permanent dwelling place among you. Tongues of fire will come down to enlighten and sanctify the church, which is living through the dark hour of Calvary, and being stricken in her pastors, wounded in the flock, abandoned and betrayed by her own, exposed to the impetuous wind of Ferris, pervaded with the loss of faith and with apostasy. The divine fire of the Holy Spirit will heal her of every malady, will purify her of every stain and every infidelity, will clothe her again in a new beauty, cover her in his splendor, in such a way that she may be able to find again all her unity and holiness, and will thus give to the world her full, universal, and perfect witness to Jesus. Tongues of fire will come down upon you all, my poor children, so ensnared and seduced by Satan, and by all the evil spirits who during these years have attained their greatest triumph. And thus you will be illuminated by this divine light, and you will see your own selves in the mirror of the truth and the holiness of God. It will be like a judgment in miniature, which will open the door of your heart to receive the great gift of divine mercy. And then the Holy Spirit will work the new miracle of a universal transformation in the heart and the life of all. Sinners will be converted. The weak will find support. The sick will receive healing. Those far away will return to the house of the Father. Those separated and divided will attain full unity. In this way, the miracle of the second Pentecost will take place. It will come with the triumph of my immaculate heart in the world. Only then will you see how the tongues of fire of the spirit of love will renew the whole world, which will become completely transformed by the, greatness, by the greatest manifestation of the divine mercy. And so I invite you to spend this day in the cynical gather together in prayer with me, Mother of Mercy, and the hope and the trembling expectation of the second Pentecost, now close at hand. Yay! <laughs> so that doesn't get your attention, not on the web, does let me do this. Is that Tons of fire. Yeah. It's very powerful. And um, so that's, I guess, why when we go through these difficult things, all these crazy things happening and priests being canceled and, you know, weird stuff coming out of the church, we, we stay very calm 
and just stay steady on our course because we know the end of the story. I know all you do too. And we're just hastening that by our consecration to Our Lady. So let's do what Our Lady said. Let's, and Our Lord said, come spend time with Him in adoration. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to pray the Holy Rosary, as Our Lady said in Fatima, pray it every day. We complain about the state of the world and how many of us are praying our rosaries every day. I know all of you are. Um, but, uh, and then, well, like I said, at the end of the Holy Hour, we'll... And I think I better mention, uh, to, to purchase the book, if you want the book, you can't find it online. They don't sell it online. They don't take credit cards. Uh, so what they want you to do is to go to the website and print out uh, the uh -huh. form. And... Uh, well, we should talk about it. Yeah, we should do that after. Uh, I can show the form. It's not coming up right now, but I can show the form to yeah. fill out anyway. So it's not like you can just Google it and find it at online and from Amazon and buy it. Well, let's so, talk about that because we yeah. might have a way around that, okay. which I used to awesome. be able to get some and then put them on our store. So here we are. Uh, prepare our hearts to be in the presence of Jesus as we remember. Oh, dear Brother Lauren. We miss you. We love you, Brother Lauren. Here we are entering the chapel in Vilnius, Lithuania, where it is just past midnight. So it's May 8th there in Vilnius. And we begin this holy hour with a spiritual communion as we pray. My Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And we move Amen. straight to the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us pray to us have recourse, recourse to thee. To thee. And Joan and I will do the opening prayers of the Most Holy Rosary, Sorrowful Mysteries, today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Okay, Jeannie and Kevin. Kevin, you'll do the first decade.
the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jeannie Lawrence, sorry guys, interrupt. Um, remember we have prayer responders. So Lawrence is going to pray the first decade with Kevin. And then Jeannie, you lead the second decade and Wheezy's going to be praying with you. Okay. Then Very Kevin, good. yeah. So Larry's going to respond to you, Kevin. Sorry for interruption. No problem. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now in a tower of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are the most need of thy mercy. So the second sorrowful mystery is the uh, scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. May thy kingdom come, may thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who have the greatest need of thy mercy. The third historical mystery is the uh, crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those of the most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery. Jesus is condemned to death and carries his cross to Calvary. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
Father, do thy name, may thy kingdom come, may thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who have the greatest need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the death and crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on <clears throat> earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among <clears throat> women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy <clears throat> womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who have the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Do we do that? Go ahead, yes. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be, be our, our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly, humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the, the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, God Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, 
we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from the heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Now we move to the Litany of the Saints. Pray for our countries, this novena of litanies, litany of the saint. And Eloise and Fawn will be doing this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint Philip, pray for us. Saint Bartholomew, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Saint Simon, pray for us. Saint Jude, pray for us. Saint Matthias, pray for us. Saint Barnabas, pray for us. Saint Luke, pray for us. Saint Mark, pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord, pray for us. All you holy innocents, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damian, pray for us. All you holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Nicholas, pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors, Pray for us. All you holy doctors, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us.
pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Catherine, pray for us. Saint Claire, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows, pray for us. All you holy saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people from the snares of the devil lord save your people from anger hatred and all ill will lord save your people from the spirit of uncleanness lord save your people from lightning and tempest lord save your people from the scourge of earthquake lord save your people from plague famine and war lord save your people from everlasting death lord save your people by the mystery of your holy incarnation lord save your people by your coming lord save your people by your birth lord save your people by your baptism and holy fasting lord save your people by your cross and passion lord save your people by your death and burial lord save your people by your holy resurrection lord save your people by your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. And on the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Prayer of St. Gertrude the Great. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, 
Amen. Thanks, ladies. And now another one of the novenas. Jesus asked St. Faustina to pray for her country of Poland, was to gather the sisters in the wards, the, the uh, young ladies they took care of in the convent, gathered them together and pray the chaplet of mercy for nine days. And so we are praying this novena of chaplets of mercy to appease the just anger of our Heavenly Father over the condition of the world today. We pray for all of our nations across the world. Then we're also the Novena yeah. to the Divine Mercy, Seventh Day. Today, bring to me the souls who especially venerate and glorify my mercy and immerse them in my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, whose heart is love itself, Receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy. These souls are mighty with the very power of God in himself. In the midst of all afflictions and adversities, they go forward, confident of your mercy and united to you, O oh Jesus, they carry all mankind on their shoulders. These souls will not be judged severely, but your mercy will embrace them as they depart from this life. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your greatest attribute, that of your fathomless mercy, and who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls are a living gospel. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy and their hearts overflowing with joy. Sing a canticle of mercy to you, O Most High. I beg you, O God, show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you. Let there be accomplished in them the promise of Jesus who said to them that during their life, but especially at the hour of death, the souls who will venerate this fathomless mercy of his, he himself will defend as his glory. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O oh, fount of life, unfathomable, divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Catherine, are you there? Let's see. Sorry. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God in her mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Let's pray the prayer to Our Lady of America. As we prepare um, to pray the prayer to Our Lady of America, for those of you that are not familiar, Our Lady of America, Our Lady presented herself to a nun, a humble nun in... Um, <clears throat> Indiana, northern Indiana, um, in the 1950s and 60s, and well, through the 80s. But she asked that uh, she be known as Our Lady of America and that a statue of her be made and it would be solemnly processed into our national basilica, our national shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C., and she made this request in 1958 as they were getting, they had the crypt church was already built and then the main church was um, being finished. And she, she stood there with a, like a, a little model 
of the basilica. And she said, if this would be done, and if she would be given a place of honor in our national basilica, that our nation, that there would be many miracles that would happen there, miracles greater than at Fatima and Lourdes, but not so much of the physical nature, but more of the um, spiritual nature, and that the gift of purity would be poured uh, poured out. So, um, and it, it never happened. Uh, our National Basilica has, I think, 77 shrines in the 70s um, to uh, honoring Our Lady as she has appeared all over the world. It's really a universal church. It's beautiful. There are, you know, altars all over, statues, icons of Our Lady. But in our own National Basilica, we don't have anything for the United States of America. The Immaculate Conception we have, she's our patroness. Our Lady of Guadalupe is considered the... Um, the Empress of America, of the Americas, of, plural. Of, right, of the Americas. And a big part of the MMP at the beginning, like we were saying, if you just joined us, we were talking about the Marian Movement of Priests, which began in the early 70s. Our Lady is calling the priests to make their consecrations to her Immaculate Heart and praying over for them to be pure, for the gift of purity, and that they would fall from this. And then if they have fallen from this, as the whole world has fallen from purity, which leads to so much okay. sin, so much sinfulness, um, it, it could have been, a, could be avoided. For whatever reason, um, our Lady's wishes have not been um, fulfilled uh, for her to be placed in our National Basilica, but nonetheless, the message is the same and our need for purity is the same. So this is a prayer that Our Lady dictated to Sister um, uh, Mary Eth Ephraim. Mary Ephraim, right, Sister Mary Ephraim. And uh, so it's very beautiful. It's from Our Lady herself, but she talks about the role that we have here particularly in the United States, not because we're proud, it's just where Our Lady has chosen to lead the world and lead the way in the triumph of her Immaculate Heart. So we pray, O Immaculate Mother, Queen of, Queen our, of country, our country, open our, our hearts, our, our homes, and our land to the, the coming of Jesus, Jesus your divine, divine Son. With, with him reign over us, O Heavenly Lady, Lady so pure and so bright, with, with the, the radiance, radiance of God's light shining in and about you. Be our leader against, against the power of evil, set upon resting the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your Son and of yourself. In union with him from that same Savior who loves us with infinite charity, we, we gather, gather about you, you O chaste and holy mother, mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart O great queen that the kingdom of your son our redeemer and our god may be firmly established in us we ask no special sign of you sweet mother for we believe in your great love for us and we place in you our entire confidence we promise to honor you by faith love and the purity of our lives according to your desire reign over us then o virgin immaculate with your son jesus christ may his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us use us your children of america as your instruments in bringing peace among nations and nations excuse me work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed trinity who created redeemed and sanctifies us may your valiant spouse saint joseph 
with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come, holy, immaculate Mother, and as our victorious Queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your Son reigns forever as King. King. Amen. Our Lady of America, pray, pray for, us. for us. So just take a moment for our own personal goodbyes to our Lord, our Savior, our King, our Redeemer. And then, Kevin, we're going to ask you to sing the Tanto Mergo for us. Tanto Mergo Sacramentum Venere Mortis Et Anticum Documentum no voce da rituli, preste pide supplementum, sensum defeculi, genitori genitoque, no se jubilatio, salus ane virtus poque, si te benedicio, procedem ti abutroque, Beautiful. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Praise you for our church, for your mother who's leading us and guiding us during these times so beautifully and thank you for all these prayer warriors who are responding to her call so uh, we're going to turn it over uh, and so y'all can ask any questions um but before we do that kevin and Jeannie, did you want to go ahead and add anything else to our previous discussion about the mmp you're muted I remember when we first got started with this, uh, you know, I was uh, trying to support my wife and <laughs> and the two children that we had at the time that we were your guardians for, and we try to bring them a little closer to Jesus. I was um, I was a special agent and uh, doing all sorts of work, South Texas, drug smuggling, stuff we had. But... Uh, and I said, what, what is an interlocution? I started reading uh, some of the interlocutions and I was like, what the heck's an interlocution? I had no idea. So Jeannie, I've told Joan and Dave this story numerous times, but um, Jeannie drugged me literally to a prayer group that was Monsignor Pavanka was starting up the cynical down at the Corpus Christi Cathedral down in the basement in the, in the chapel underneath. I did not want to go to it. I was tired. I wanted a beer and dinner and that was it. <laughs> we got there late, so I'm already ticked off because I'm late because I'm an on-time kind of guy, and I'm sitting in the last pew of the chapel, and Monsignor started to talk about the Marian movement of priests, and then um, I heard in my soul Jesus saying, pray for priests and religious. This was in the late 90s. Pray for priests and religious that are leading the flock astray and are being damned to hell. And he said it to me again. And then I, you know, Mr. Special Agent broke down in the in the most sorrowful tears that I've ever had in my whole life. I could not stop crying the rest of the whole time I was there. I couldn't hear anything going on around me. I didn't, 
I just was feeling the Lord's sorrow for his chosen ones that he put on my heart. So we got out of there. I got out of there as quick as I could. And I, I couldn't even tell her at first when she got in the car what happened. And uh, I finally told her. And she said, that's a blessing. I said, I don't want that blessing no more. I'm not going back there anymore. You understand? She goes, that's okay. The Lord understands. It's all right. Uh, two days later, we ran into a friend of ours that was coming out of the cathedral for daily mass. And uh, she came up and she said, yeah, I saw you guys the other day, but you kind of left kind of quick. And Jeannie goes, well, something happened to Kevin. And she said, did he hear Jesus on his soul asking for, for prayers for priests and religious, leading the flock astray, and are being damned to hell? And I hugged her tight, and she hugged me. And uh, she said, I broke down in sorrow. I could not stop crying the rest of the time I was there in the little chapel at the Seneca. So I understood what it, it happened to her the exact same thing. And so I, I, you know, I just, I found out what an interlocution was <laughs> firsthand. I've never had another one. I don't need another one. I pray for priests and religious every day. Uh, we saw in the early 2000s, the scandals starting in the Boston diocese where I'm originally from, the priest scandals there and in LA and all over the world, Ireland, and millions of Catholics left the faith never to return. And then millions are looking at our church as why would I wanna to go to that church? Why would I wanna become a Catholic? when it got all these priests that are doing stuff to kids and stuff. But we also have issues with our religion. So we pray for them every day. We have to do that. Um, because they're, they, if they're leading the flock astray, the devil is as happy as he can be and uh, losing that souls. So anyway, that was my little story. Wow, Kevin, that's striking. That's just awesome. I don't recall, I'm sure. I don't think we've ever heard that before. Probably have, but that's, that's really knowing me. <laughs> and what a confirmation that that someone else there heard the exact same thing. Yeah, that, that was Pat, 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 and uh, Pat, Pat, Joan, Pat, Pat and Joan. Joan, it was Joan. But it was, yeah. it was Joan. the other anyway. Joan, not me. Not you. No, no it was yeah. Uh, Jeannie, do you want to add anything to that? Oh, just my part of that story was he was crying next to me in the pew, and I, I was like, oh, I'll never bring him to another city. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there bawling like a child. No. It was powerful, the spirit uh, touching two hearts in that cynical. It was very visible. I'm sure prayerfully he uh, touches more hearts than those two, but there's a lot of power in cynical. I hope we can get some renewed and some new ones started. It's easy to do. Just get a couple of books and invite friends over, wine and cheese, and then uh, move yeah, on in. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I think it takes about, you could actually have a cynical within uh, 45 minutes. Do the re do a reading of rosary, a, a Everyone should share what they think they got on their hearts from the uh, message from Our Lady. And um, I believe there's a, there's no, there's a kind of a rule. No, don't bring up negative things on your priest and your bishops. And then you, there is, you do close with the prayer for the Holy Father. And you, you pray the... Um... You make the act of consecration, and there's a couple different oh, yeah. ones in the book. There's one for the religious, and the and uh, one for laity, and then even one uh, for for youth. So if you have kids, it's a little bit shorter. It's a very right. beautiful consecration. And the other thing that you don't do is you don't bring up any other Marian messages, apparitions. You don't start talking about what our Lord said to Faustina or the latest message from kumbaya yeah. somebody you know um we just right. read what our lady says here and i just this is this is one I, i'm going to read it just a little bit of of passage 404 this was given on pentecost in 1989 which was may 14th and this was very telling um in there's a it, during this time frame there are several passages where our lady goes through the book of revelations she explains uh, the number 666, she explains the the huge red dragon, she explains the 
two wings of the great eagle. It's really very eye-opening, but she says here, just one part of, um, real quick, the huge red dragon is atheistic communism, which has spread everywhere the error of the denial of the and of the obstinate rejection of God. Now again, this is 1989. This is what Our Lady warned uh, at Fatima. As Jeannie said, this is connected to the Fatima. If we don't pray our rosaries every day, communism will spread its airs all over the world. And Father Kaj Fraulich, our former provincial Marian father, who lived in Poland, you know, made us aware. He goes, the, the, the root of communism is godlessness. So if you don't have God, you don't have love. If you don't have love, this is why they can be so brutal and just destroy life and which they're, they're doing and, and our way of life and our humanity, the attack against our humanity right now. So anyway, it's communism, which is spread everywhere and uh, the denial and rejection of God. The huge red dragon is Marxist atheism, which appears with 10 horns, namely with the power of its means of communication in order to lead humanity to, to disobey the Ten Commandments of God and with seven heads upon each of which there is a crown, signs of authority and royalty. The crowned heads indicate the nations in which atheistic communism is established and rules with the force of its ideological, political and military power. The hugeness of the dragon clearly manifests the vastness of the territory occupied by the uncontested reign of atheistic communism. Its color is red because it uses wars and blood as instruments of its numerous conquests. And it goes on. So for those of us that are kind of aware of what is being revealed, uh, especially I would say in the last five years, huge, is the reality of what is going on, how world powers are all toy, toy, you know, tied together, the one world government and this reign of atheism causing wars, playing both sides of the wars and um, the godlessness that's there. So these are just some of the things that really gives you insights. And that's just a little paragraph of what Our Lady is leading us to. So the, and then the, the fact of uh, the power of communication this is how I particularly talk to the young people. And we've seen it, and you've all seen it too. We were looking at fake news. We're looking at, at um, what do you call it, censoring. We're looking at the indoctrination. Go and listen to what they're really saying. Even to, on children's shows, there's a, a great documentary out right now called Quiet on Set from Nickelodeon days where our kids were growing up listening to this stuff, what they were doing, what they were saying billboards, magazines, music, I mean, the communications, we are just inundated. And, and so we fall. It's very easy to fall. But this is why Our Lady calls for the consecration to her Immaculate Heart where her refuge is. And it was hard to understand what she meant by refuge, but it's where she, I, we see it clearly now, you know, how could her heart be a refuge, you know? But it's where these we are made aware of these things. We are know how to combat them. We are kept pure. Not that we never sin or fall or fall down, but um, we're less likely to be duped. <laughs> I haven't found the exact quotation I was looking for, but she says over and over again in the book that the entrance into the refuge is your consecration. Say it daily, some form. Remind yourself with your prayer and her that you are her possession. All, everything you own is hers. And you surrender yourself to Mary for her maternal protection. And then you enter into the refuge. That's what, that's what we learned in the book. Well, and also, and I want to give, give, give everybody else a chance, but remember, even the material protection a bomb dropped over Nagasaki right near very like within a couple miles of, of a place, a monastery where they were living the Fatima message, praying the rosary and that everything else around it was destroyed. They never got cancer. They never suffered anything from that. Why? Because of their consecration to our lady and living the message. 
Right. And we can make all these other preparations and not saying we shouldn't be prudent and be prepared for whatever could happen, natural disasters or whatever, right? The <laughs> scapular, she says the scapular and the rosary. They were wearing the scapular in Nagasaki, yes. That's Where the sign of the consecration. This is the sign of the consecration, that you're a child of Mary. It's a it's a garment. It's part of her garment. Right. I like to say when she looks down, she, she can see who you spark, you know, like who's who's wearing the uniform, who's got their uniform on, you know. All right. Well, let's turn it over to to our <laughs> to get your scapulars out. <laughs> Sometimes mine's wrapped around my neck. Anyway, let's uh Go ahead and open it up to the gallery, honey, and see if anybody's got any questions. I don't know if David is still here. He wanted to know if he could speak or ask a question. Or any. Hi, Wheezy. She's laughing. I, I need that book like ASAP. <laughs> so, what time do you open tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> what What they allowed me to do in the past um because we as part of divine mercy for america there's an option for mmp readings and i got questioned on that when we first did it and what we would do we, we would just feel called actually we had a friend who i believe it, he was under father seraphim's um direction who he would be working in the yard or something they had a cynical and he would just be given he would see numbers like 169 every single one of these passages has a number and they would he'd come in he goes 169 and his wife would look up 169 oh my goodness that that's may 7th 1989 you know and it's may 7th or it would be something that would apply and one day so she would share with us the number and then one day i was really convicted I mean, like Kevin, I cried and cried and cried because Our Lady was like, I want people to know these messages and you're not getting it out there. So I said, all right. I really, it was very, I was like, how could I have not thought about that? So we would just say, here's a, we recommend reading 189, you know, and I would put just a little blurb of it in there. So what, what I did with the MMP was they let me order like a case that's got 10 or 20 books in it. And I would pay them the twenty dollars a book, the suggested donation. Twenty five now, just so you okay. Know. Well, we had them available on the website, and I would say for a recommended donation of twenty dollars, whatever we put into it. And some people would say, "I don't have any money." I would just mail it to them, you know, because that's what we're supposed to do. But then they got a new director, and she said that we couldn't do that anymore because. They didn't want to sell it just like a book in a bookstore that it was really intended for people who would belong to a cynical. I do. <laughs> so you do. So I was like, all right, she says, do you have an online cynical? And at the time we didn't. And, um, but I was talking to Jeannie and with Dave and we're thinking maybe we will once a month like on a Wednesday night or something. And it would be very simple. We could join together via Zoom like we do. We could go to Vilnius. It helps to be focused on the Blessed Sacrament, pray the Holy Rosary. Then we'll read a passage and we'll, you know, we can make it just an hour. When we did it with our families, because we had children, it was school night. I remember the first time we did it, we were trying to get our husbands because we wives were sitting there at breakfast at our church, if we need to do the family cynical, how are we going to get the guys? So it was the fall and it was Monday night football. So we, we told them, hey, we're going to get together at so-and-so's house and we're going to pray the rosary and we'll have dinner. And we can watch the football game, Monday night football. Like Kevin said, have a beer and dinner. And, and so um, we, they were like, okay, that sounds good. Do you know we didn't watch football that night? And then we continued, we would do it every three weeks and we would rotate houses. And we never once watched a football game. Well, I remember watching the Cowboys one time. I don't know, it was. <laughs> just once. Just once. But we the would Cowboys. <laughs> We would say we're starting at seven o'clock. If you're not there at seven with your, your family, you know, you're gonna walk in late, but if they were there, but everybody was always there five minutes ahead of time. Boom, we started the rosary at seven. We would do the reading by eight o'clock. Um, 
uh, we we would have dinner and someone like if it was at my house, I would make the main dish and Jeannie would I'd say bring dessert. Someone else would bring a salad. You know, we chipped in. That was fun. And the kids would play outside. We'd eat dinner. And then at nine o'clock, you know, we left and um, everybody. So it was very regimented and it made it workable. So we could do something like that, except we won't have dinner. And uh, <laughs> but start at seven and you know, have discussion and be done by eight and wrap it up. And um, that would be workable for us. So how many of you think you would be interested in something like that? Awesome. All right. Very good. Okay. We're thinking of starting it on Wednesday, um, May 22nd. I just, and um, the time. What time central time? Or central Eastern. time. Oh. For Eastern. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you guys, what do you think? Weezy, what would be good for you? No, whatever. I mean, anything Eastern after 6.30, I'm going to be in bed. But that, you know, I'm going to do the best I can. I might not show my face, but I'll be in United in Prayer. I don't worry. So, yeah. Uh, can, is that enough time for folks to get a book they don't need to have the book for the first meeting but did you get are you going to give them the address day oh you said it's online yeah, oh, that's talk right. about we put, well what i'm going to try to do the, chat. the yeah. address is in the chat and what i'm going to and they don't need okay. the book but um what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try i'll call tammy her name is tammy Me tomorrow too. and let her know that we're going to do it online and that's what she's let me like, if it's for a group, like I could order 20 if we're having a cynical. And then that way it makes it easier because sending in a check and by the time you send it up there and then they get it and send it back. I told her, I am just providing a service. We're not doing this to make money, you know, but I had a, they, they were like, no. So I don't know. We'll see. I can let you all know tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. What I re my memory you know, is with the kids for us, two things. One was with the kids and the kids are praying the rosary, you know, and how fantastic that was. There were what, how many kids were there? Four families. We had three, Don't said 13. 13. 13 kids from like wow. seven or eight to. And early, most of them were boys. Yeah, there were just three girls. Early and... teens, maybe 12, 13 back, back then that, that were the ages. So. To have them praying the rosary, it, you know, was just awesome. But then when we would do the reading, it was like, you know, it's it's like that's speaking to me. You know, I remember almost every time going, wow, that was those words were for for me tonight. You know, it taught and it was about current events and things going on. And it just it was really amazing. I wish I would have known about this when my kids were growing up. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it gives you know, you, uh, it really does plan. It it lays out uh, the troubles in the church. Yeah, and the underlying theme of not only Marian movement of priests, but many Sister Mary Ephraim, many many apparitions have from Our Lady is the call to purity. It's a real serious problem in the world because the the laws against pornography have been torn down, you know, re-legislated. -legis, re it's everywhere. It's the filth coming through under the doors, I believe is almost a quote from Our Lady, filth coming under the doors of our homes. So uh, it would have been great, but it's never too late to introduce this. We can, we go back and see these messages now from the 90s when we were, they were being issued. Because when we started, the book was only about this big <laughs> you know wow. each yeah and then another year would come and the book had had father Gobi's years of travel one year of travel then it would be the next year of travel so at the end of travel which was 1997 i said 98 but it was 97 the book had grown to this wow so we ended it with that and Gobi lived another he died in 2011 years. 2011, so he, 12 years, uh, 15 years almost. So um, we read this book now. It's, uh, 
there's not one error that I can detect in this prophecy, this book of prophecy of what was coming to the church. I'm sure it saved me many priesthood, many uh, vocations to this priesthood because the church literally crumbled beneath uh, their feet. Here's many, here. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, well, I'm just going to say many of the, uh, you know, these priests are connected to each other around the world and a part of the Marian movement of priests. So they, they, my understanding is they still get together in parts of Europe and other places uh, to be able to support each other. And, and the attack that they know is against them from Satan. And so um, it, it's powerful. And for us to be able to be, be, be their backup of praying for them on a, on a regular basis. I took the book to Holy Hour and, and worked it every week uh, and, and worked my way through, through the messages and, and the gorgeous, uh, like I said, messages of love. When you read some of the messages that came out around Christmas, when Our Lady would bring Jesus to all of us, and she's talking about her how she brings him to us at every Christmas and brings him in the manger to us. And uh, it just, it, it touches your heart, uh, makes you understand how much he loves us, but how much our Lord loved us by, by coming to earth like he did. So you'll, you'll get tremendous graces from the book when you read it. Uh, I'm really uh, excited that it's being reborn, especially in this time uh, that we're living in now. So uh, anyway, that's, that's it. Here's the thing on Purity, Jeannie. This is at the beginning in 1973. This is in October, just a, a part of it. She said, um, truly the, the demon of corruption, the spirit of lust has seduced all the nations of the world. Not one of them is any longer preserved. This veil of death is spread out over the world and souls are being defiled. Listen to this, even before they awaken to the knowledge of life. The priests of my movement must restore purity in souls and fight firmly against the demon of lust in all its manifestations. They must combat styles that are more and more indecent and provocative. They must combat the press that publicizes evil and entertainment which ruins morals. They must struggle against the prevalent mentality that legitimizes and justifies everything and against cur current morality that permits everything. Above all, my priests will have to be pure, very pure. I myself will cover them with my iman immaculate mantle and I will make them new men, priests who are upright and spotless. To those who have fallen, I will give a new purity. I will call them to a second and more beautiful innocence of repentance and love. So back then, that this, this 1973 didn't make a whole lot of sense. But now we see what Our Lady, I want it to be the movement of my priest, which will bring back the fragrance of purity to the world. For it is only on the billow of this perfume that my son Jesus will once again become the king of hearts and of souls and on and on so this is where i think our lady of america is super important so gavin i'll get to you deborah's had her hand up for a while thanks for your patience deb did you have a question oh no that was just uh to do the the prayers with the seneca oh okay yeah sorry. Oh, okay nice. okay thank, great. You. Thank, you. thank you thank you evan did you have a question okay Okay. Uh, yes, I. Uh, yes, I do. Um, I have a friend that is a priest. Uh, his name is Father Jonathan. His church is at, at St. Bernard's. So, I'll be honored to have that book for okay. him. Yeah. That I'll be for all priests. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see if so, we can get one. Yeah. Get one for him. Thank you. We, and I do have a question about uh, about the uh, revelation part. Um, you know, I do wear Mary's I do wear I do wear Mary's mantle that is on me right now. Um, am I gonna am I gonna be in Am I going to be in heaven if Mary comes get me? 
Well, that just kind of depends on you, Evan. I mean, that if you're living her promises, I think you are. If you're staying in the state of grace, always you're a great prayer warrior, then that's the promise. If you do that, you're going to end up in heaven. You can have confidence <laughs> in God's mercy yes. and his love. Amen. I always have. Yeah, there Amen. you go. And I'm very devoted to Our Lady of America. That's right. We know. And I, have, and I do have the, the diary. That's right. Good job, Evan. Oh, you're doing all the right things. So, And you can tell when you pray, you're praying with a lot of intention and a lot of power. You can see it, Evan. So keep Thank it you. up. I will. Thank you, Evan. You're welcome. Someone, someone has a question there in the about the book on the chat group. Is it only in the book where you can see the words, Joan? Uh, it's too long to put in the chat, Deborah. I'm sorry. You'll have to get the book. And even there is a copyright. So when I would send out the messages, you know, like the emails, I would just put like a little paragraph or something, a few sentences, and then you'd have to go to your book to read the whole thing. So because the book is and they're they're just being really prudent with it, which I understand. But um they just don't want things taken out of context. Um, and also we'll put the uh, Daniel O'Connor video link in there. Um, and you can see the rest. He does more and he covers more. But like Jeannie and I were talking, there are three main themes in the book. One is the fraternity of the priests. Uh, the other thing, main thing is the consecration. And then the third thing um, was her talk about the 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 chastisements right. and right. The, well, the infiltration of the masculine right? the infiltration she's of the magic and the she's warning. warning yeah she's warning the priest she's she she organized them it's so simple how she made this thing grow from just simple little goby and in one of the first 10 messages she says everyone will know this is not yours <laughs> it was so simple i chose you because you're so simple they'll know this is not your movement <laughs> couldn't be coming from him so uh it is it's a very large movement but it's quiet uh it fell into the devil attacked it around the year 2000 i believe uh attacked father Gobi. some priests ran uh some are embarrassed by the fact that they follow this movement Evan, you're going to hand a book off. If we hand the book off, we, you may get your priest to hand it back and say, no, thank you. Okay. Uh, I think the best way to handle that is to say, Father, I have this, this book. Uh, if you're familiar with it, would you be interested in leading us in a cynical? Yes. And he says, you know, you know, yes or no. And yes. Maybe ask that question after he has read yeah, if he doesn't and know what it he is, then know what it is, okay. read it and get the spirit of memory going through Father Gobi and, uh, and then and then he'll be much more inclined to be able to. Uh, but start. I hear I do see my I do see my priest often. I do. I will definitely tell him that. Okay. Yeah, test you can test that out. We'll see how it I goes. Uh huh. I will. Uh, Janice, you're asking for the phone number. Really, the best thing they're gonna they're gonna ask you to send a check in. They do not take credit That's cards, okay. so I would say just send send your check with a, a note, like we have it in the chat. Um, it's just Tammy there, so I try not to call her, you know, because uh, she's that trying to get all this stuff out. Can you send me? Yeah, because I would. What I would what? like to get a couple of books too. Uh huh. You can go ahead and write. Yeah, yeah. Wees, what? Now, can I? I want to give one to my pastor as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't. You know, I want at least two. Okay. And can I call you, Joni, yeah. with my card number? Yeah, like I said, tomorrow. Let Let me try to get a hold of Tammy and see what what, what we can arrange. And um. Okay. And then I can work on the distribution of it. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll be All back. Right. Here's Thank the form. You so much. You're welcome, hon. Did go ahead. Dave's putting the link. To That's the form uh, that they 
they say print this out this is from their website so here's the link to this form to order books but you know you can order the books through through us but well i don't it, know yet maybe yeah so we'll but this out. is the form they want to to print out and then you mail this form in with your payment so that's really the only way you can't you know they don't say to, to call the number to order they say print out the form mm -hmm. to order so that that's probably just helps them i can imagine after he's been uh you know raised to servant of god that they are they may just be overwhelmed may be completely overwhelmed they may run out of books you know i i don't i don't know i'm just guessing but uh so and did you notice yeah, i'm sorry I'm, let me mention that uh they will ask you the name of your cynical if, uh, if you're forming a cynical if they see this happening uh, be sure and call it uh a cynical name joan do you have a cynical name divine mercy for america the divine mercy for america, for america. marian movement of priest cynical okay that's what so that tammy who works alone in that office uh she'll know she knows Joan and she knows me. She'll know what's going on. That sound that's great. Yeah. We might get our own priest appointed for us. <laughs> well, Monsignor Pavonka is retired. Okay. We'll see if he'll I know that he was doing he was streaming on Facebook, I think, um, some of his cynicals. That so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what God does. We're just going with the Holy Spirit here. Time for the Holy Spirit. All right. So speaking of time, anybody else with a question? Gotta go. have, any, have you any of you belonged to the Senecal before? A, a MMP Marian movement? Christine, great. Okay. Not yet. Oh gosh, you're gonna love it. It's you're just gonna it love. Is it. a question. What is the last date? The myth, the 97 december 97 right yeah as, so if you bought the book like in 92 you would have all the message up to 92 and then in 93 they would just you'd get like a supplement and we had those little supplements until we would order another book and get one with everything yeah so the complete one is 1990 at the end of the year and always that end of the year the last day of the year was very very important she would talk about everybody going out there and whistleblowing and drinking and partying but she would oh, ask new, year. new year's I've spent two years new like uh, yeah new year's eve right. and to to be in prayer be with her yeah. with expectation for the coming year and so monsignor we would have a cynical and on that night on new year's eve and we would all be in the chapel and in adoration and in prayer and it was a beautiful way to send out the old year and look forward to the new so um wow. yeah yeah our lady see yeah fawn hey joan what did you say monsignor uh pavanka is that uh-huh who so i was looking up to see if there was one in the dallas area you know uh -huh. and um he's on youtube um i don't Probably. know if it's once a month and it's it's as late as march of 20 march 20th 2024 was the last one that's list the latest one that's listed um with the laity from saint joseph church in bryan texas yeah Oh, oh, so he's probably doing doing one there. Uh, last year, was it, Dave? Last spring? I got invited to speak at a uh, Catholic women's, what do you call it, um, group, uh, Daughters of Catholic Daughters at this parish in, in East Texas. We're kind of in South Central, and we'll go there, and it's a lot there. Ladies are having a luncheon and everything. I'm just going to give a little talk, and turns out the, I see these ladies with their name tags pavonka they were his sister-in-laws <laughs> i was at his home parish he retired and was living there and i didn't know it <laughs> but they all knew monsignor pavonka and uh, so that was a lot of fun got to talk about mm -hmm. he, god put him in our path my path at a very critical so time I, be <laughs> I believe what fawn is saying too though is he's retired joan but he's a, he's holding a cynical, a monthly cynical at, yeah. at, at a near, nearby parish. 
in Bryan, Texas. Yeah, he's he's active. Actually, I, I thought the March one was the latest one, but he did one on May 2nd. Okay, we'll check that out. Maybe we can just... Yeah, yeah it's just on YouTube. You know, I just Googled um, okay. and it came up on YouTube. No, I think you should do your own uh, Divine Mercy for America Center. Okay. okay. As long as if we can't make it for some reason, you can fill in. Sure. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's important in these times. I mean, we've got to just... Yeah. And I'm like another, you know, okay. job, sure. yeah, but, but it'll be, it'll be good. I think the nice thing, what, what I enjoy with this, although we do a lot of talking, I me especially, but it gives you guys an opportunity to ask questions and put, give mm -hmm. input too. And I think a lot of other online things that's, you can't, or even with big groups. So I hope y'all enjoy so, that. Joan, about what time would we be doing uh, the cynicals? Um, we have, you said no, I'm maybe seconds. maybe seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern. I'm 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 kind of the West Coast then is you know yeah. way behind, so it would be five o'clock West Coast time. Um, so it's it's not that late, you know. If you, if you meet it at the East Coast from eight to nine, and for us seven to eight. Yeah, right. First, yeah. Uh, uh, once a month or uh, re more regular. Once, once a month or more regular. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how often we could, why don't we just yeah. play that by ear? Yeah, I, once a month is kind of hard. Maybe, I, I don't know, Jeannie. Yeah, I'm open to suggestions. What do you think? And they already have on the third Wednesday, I mean, the third Monday of the month, they have a uh, the social hour. Um, and then we have the nine days of prayer, you know, so we're together for nine days. We'll just see. Let's just pray about it and see. Is quarterly, okay. is quarter, is quarterly too few? No, we want to do it at least once a month, Deb. Uh oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. But, but I encourage everyone to read the messages uh, on their own. Yeah. And then as a group, then okay. in the cynical, you choose just one. But on yes. your own, you can read the other message. Or get together with your family. I mean, do your own cynical too. That's the thing. That's what happened with us. We started with Monsignor <laughs> and then we were like, well, she says to multiply the cynical. So we, we took that to heart and we started having our own. And then, um, and then we all moved apart. And, yeah. A cynical can be two couples, uh, Two people, a married couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And invite the Holy Spirit in. Yeah. If you're and, praying your rosary, you just add the reading, you know, really. And it just, it's direction mm -hmm. from, from heaven. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Is there a reading for a specific each day? Or, I mean. No. Father started having these messages in 1973, and when I said earlier, like, here's July 7th, 8th, the 13th, but then it, it might be a week. It might be every three or four days um, as he's traveling. So you just pick one? You just I would, didn't we just randomly we would just uh, open up and randomly pick, right? Or right. Did did Most of the time, I think we randomly picked. And it would just oh. be like. We just open the book you know something going on in the news it would be speak directly to that mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. actually i did see i actually i did see there was a flood warning in texas on a flood warning. Warning. Mm. yeah yeah and i saw i saw everything you did yeah flood warning we have the tornado warnings right now yeah flood, yeah it's tornado yeah Houston area has flooded for days. It's very, very sad, very serious flooding. Really? Thousands My son of lives in Houston. We didn't even know. Thousands of homes in Houston flooded again. Wow. It's very, very expensive homes along the San Jacinto River. Bad. The two stories, the big seven to eight, 10,000 square foot homes are sunk. Mm. Terrible. Business. Yeah, my youngest, my youngest son lives in uh, Kingwood, 
Oh, that's they've terrible. had a lot of rain. They've had a lot of rain, but he hasn't he hasn't flooded yet. Of uh, Sunday. Um, yeah. Also in Oklahoma and Nebraska, they're having tornadoes. Mm. We have tornado warnings in Indiana right now. Yeah. Gosh, well, pray the chaplet. Remember the Lord said, pray the chaplet and the storm will cease. Pray with trust and confidence. Okay. It works. It works. It does work. It, work. it does work. I, it worked for me one time. Seriously. Or the, or, or the image. He, he actually, that's the image. That's, that's right. right. That's right. right. Yeah. Got a question. It sure, that's sure. A of what we've been talking about. But does anybody know about the group called Mercy Chefs? I keep getting text messages to donate. And, oh. you know, nowadays you're kind of like, well, who are they? Oh, I've never heard of them. Okay. Not on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Too many, too many scams from the texts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because they're like, they're saying they're giving food to, uh, you know, in Nebraska where the tornadoes are. And I'm like, hey, I'd be willing to give, but I don't know who these people are. Right. Yeah, no, I haven't heard of them. Yeah, okay. especially if they're sending you, getting you emotional, people just, yeah. Good question. Yeah. I don't Mercy know where they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I thought, mercy i was like okay are they part of the mercy you know helpers you know i'm not i've never heard of them i've never read anything you know from father chris on them but yeah mm. no don't think so okay. all right folks <laughs> uh Jeannie, kevin uh, thank kevin for us you guys are awesome yeah I appreciate thank you guys your input and um friendship and your support and uh, all of you too. Tomorrow we'll be hearing about. Uh, remember John Canavan, Divine Mercy mm -hmm. Australia, and um, we'll be sharing a little bit of the video uh, talk that we did with him. It was about an hour long, so Dave's been editing it um, to 15 minutes or something like that, right? Yep. Yep. Very interesting. You'll be inspired by Divine Mercy for Australia, and then we're wrapping it up on the ninth on the Feast of the uh, Ascension with uh, two women they're on fire you're gonna love them joanne and betsy from the rosa mystica shrine in northern the foothills of uh northern new, new york upstate, new, upstate york. new york a beautiful place i don't know if you know the story of rosa mystica so they'll be teaching us about the the, the messages of rosa mystica why this place is where it is it's incredible what they do there and um edmonton, New York. edmonton. Ed edmond yeah it's in edmonton and um so anyway uh we're excited to, to bring them on i talked with them this afternoon and um in that state where we were just talking about with the abortion capital of the world to know mm -hmm. that our lady says i want a house of prayer here and it's there and so it's just providential it's beautiful so with that, we're off to a softball game, our granddaughter's softball game. Ah. <laughs> so, God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. Hey, for John. Yes. Evan. Um, I think my piece is in this movement, probably. Your what? Your priest? My, oh, probably yeah. is. Yeah. If he's a good priest, yes. a lot of them and the younger ones have been formed. Uh, mm through the MMP. Father Jason said his parents had a cynical in their home and they mm. still to this day have a cynical in Steubenville. So he's very familiar with the, the mirror and look how on fire he is, you know? Oh yeah. He's a fruit of it. So, and what yeah, I think I think it's in this movement. Okay. Well, you know so. what then Evan, then you can really, if he is then say, mm -hmm. let's have a cynical. Okay. And he'll be happy to hear that you're interested and in that you know about it. So. Yes. Very good. I know. Yes, everyone. Jonah, yeah, Deb. Yes, for the prayers of the cynical, maybe for uh, on the day that we get the third the third week of the month, but not during that time, but after, you know, a couple of hours after. This is a suggestion. Oh, on the same day as the uh... the third week of the month. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on Monday. But just a couple. Yeah, but just a couple of hours later. Yeah. 
Yeah, that might be hard for people. I mean, it's a lot to go. Through. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. We'll, we'll continue to pray about it, see what works. Okay. Good night. Good night. Let good me night. know. Goodbye. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Love you.